Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13. The parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. The thought came to me today, that we are now close to the midnight hour. For years, the church as a whole has been asleep and has been pursuing worldly goals such as building churches, raising families, making money, running ministries etc., but now. We see the state of the world has changed and people are starting to wake up. We just had a global health crisis, followed by a major war in Europe, and now a major war in Israel. But the church is divided about whether the rapture is imminent, or whether it will be further down the track, after other disasters have taken place during the tribulation. The only reason there is this division is that one group, characterized by the five wise virgins, knows how to listen to what the Spirit is saying through the prophetic scriptures and the other group does not. One group has the unction and the anointing to understand and are enlightened by that, the other has no light and is asking the enlightened group to teach them to share their anointing. I see this all the time in the comments section, people asking to be spoon-fed about where the rapture is in the Bible instead of going to read the Bible for themselves. This is because they read the Bible but can't understand it as they don't have the Spirit of God. But the wise virgins tell the foolish virgins, go buy oil from the merchants, maybe that means, go buy a book or a DVD from a Bible prophecy teacher or some such thing. Whatever the case, they don't understand. Maybe that's because they are not saved, therefore don't have the Holy Spirit. What that comes down to is not understanding the gospel of salvation by grace alone, by the blood of Jesus. Instead, they have been following works-based religion which teaches them to get their lives together and avoid sin, or they will lose their salvation. A salvation that they never had in the first place because they never believed on the blood of Jesus. If the blood of Jesus covers you for your past sins and you happen to sin again in a moment of weakness or blindness, is Jesus going to say, sorry, you had your chance, you're done now? No, of course not, and this is scriptural 1 John 1 verse 9 teaches us clearly, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'll leave you with that thought today. If you never understood the gospel before today, go before God today and pray in the name of Jesus to be cleansed from all your sins, past, present and future, and get ready to be raptured when the time comes.